Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Captain Contraption's Chocolate Factory. Let's get back to it. I think, what did we do? Last episode, we did the chocolate almonds, and we did it with the faster uh, entrances modifier. So we're on portal one. Now let's just jump in and see what we've got. All right, so all right, all right. We've got three kind of furnaces to toast almonds or melt chocolate at the bottom. Where's our exits? Oh, our exits are way up high this time. We need to produce regular chocolate, so not melted. Just send chocolate into this exit. Got chocolate almonds, so melted chocolate on top of a toasted almond. And then over here, it looks like we just have regular almonds. And of course, the almonds are on the other side of the map or the screen here. We need to use portals. Oh man, these are expensive. So let's see, how do we want to do it? The chocolate and the almonds. Chocolate's going to come out here. I'm going to put a portal at the, this entrance. And the way these work, if I take another portal and put it above oh, where we need to deposit chocolates, that's up here somewhere. Boom. And then we link these together. I grab the starting one and just drag this thing over to the destination one. And I think that does it. Let's, uh, hit play and see what happens. I'm expecting chocolate bars to come out here and transport right above the exit that wants them. And that is working. You can see our efficiency score is going up. So those are being delivered. So that's piece of cake, that part. Um. We've got almonds. So same thing here, I'm guessing. Uh, we can't get through these walls, so we have to use these transporters or portals. Uh, let's pop that guy on the almond exits. Link these two up. Then hit play. Okay, so that's doing the trick for those two. Next. Uh, this is the hard one. We need we need an almond. We've got a new control over here too. We've got an extremely bouncy bumper. We've got our belts and our cannon that we're familiar with along with the portals. Okay, so now we need to get these almonds posted. Uh, which sounds like we gotta send them through a furnace, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like we're going to need to send them through a furnace. We don't have our little laser guy. Uh, and then... We need the melted chocolate. We need to melt chocolate. I can get chocolate. Uh, I'll tell you what. I think... I want to move this over. Let's take this chocolate from the inside and do the same thing here. Take the almonds from the inside one inside entrance. So that should all work the same. And I think I'm going to let these almonds drop and belt them through this. Then let this chocolate drop and somehow belt its way through this heater so we get the melted chocolate. And then, oh, I noticed there's little hints here. There's a little block here and a little block here. Maybe... Maybe it's going to be something like this. Belt. A belt. Change the direction on that guy. And then our portals up top. Maybe this is where they're going to drop in when they're done. The melted chocolate and the melted or toasted almonds. And they'll come together hopefully and... Go into the exit. Now we gotta get chocolate into that heater. Be something just simple. And then another portal. Right outside of the heater. If we're lucky. This one can go there. Chocolate drops down, hopefully falls into the heater. Hopefully rolls out into the portal. Goes up here, lands on the belt, boom. And then the same thing with the almonds over here. Go 
ahead and drop down. Boom, hopefully tumble into that heater. Hopefully come out there and meet up there. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, we got timing issues already. Uh, I think the almond... Almond came first, right? Yeah, the almond is way early. What do we do about that? Could move this guy down. And now the almond's late, right? Let's see. Almond is just a hair late. Let's move him up one and try again. Oh man, that looks so close. Why are those not meeting? Play again, sorry. It's so close, I can't tell who's late and who's early. Still can't tell by looking at it. Almond? Looks like the chocolate might be falling a little early. Maybe. Boy, that one's hard, hard to tell. Let's move this guy up a and see what we get. I'm guessing the almond's going to come early. Oh, oh. I think we're getting it. Let's see if we get the efficiency up to 100. Just barely getting it, but we're doing it. Check it out. 100% efficiency. 260 for the current cost. I don't think... Mm. I don't know of a way to do it more efficiently. Cannons cost more than these one. We're just using one conveyor belt on each side and we're stuck with the portals. I don't know how you could do it with less portals. Let's take the win. Yeah, somebody got it done with one less belt or, or two less belts here. I've got 260. That's what we did. So I'm going to take the win. Let's go back. All right, let's uh, yeah, go back to the factory and do the one with the modifier. Super cannons. Super cannons. Is that going to help? Uh, let's try it. Don't think we can blast through these. Blast through these things. Or if you could super. Why, uh, yeah, hmm. Super cannons are going to shoot super far. We still need our teleporters. Something obvious I'm missing. Could you get by with less teleporters by reusing teleporters somehow? I think so. I don't know how you'd sort them out. Hmm, thinking. We used a belt to kind of triple trip down here. I don't think there's got to be a better way, but I don't know what it is. Don't think we can move these blocks. I'm just not sure how a super cannon is going to help me. And I thought I could put a cannon under this guy here on the left side. Ricochet off the wall and somehow get in there, but that's still more expensive than a belt. And pulling from this guy. I don't, we don't get any time bonus by completing the objectives faster. What would a super cannon do? I don't know, man. I'm tempted to just do the same factory. I'm missing something. Same objectives. Chocolate, chocolate, almonds, and almonds. Super cannon. I have no idea how, how that would help us. I just don't know. Let's, uh, I'm going to do very similar to what we just did. Not sure how else to do it. 
Um, yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah, let's um let's do kind of what we did now. Up the basics. This one we actually want over here. Portal down here for almonds. Portal to receive regular almonds up over this way. Link those two together. That's those guys crisscrossing. Remember, we put that one on the inside. Cannon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we also got these bouncy bumpers. These ones we can rotate at 45, which is nice. And unless there's a way to get through here, I don't know how that would work. I mean, there's maybe hints here, like this block is a different color. Just not sure. Not sure. Uh, let's see, we need portals. There, one there. Here. Let's see what we get. Okay, I just gotta move over. Uh, it's got to change direction. And that's the same thing. I kind of feel like missing the boat on something here. See if we get to 100% efficiency yeah. again. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I think I'm just going to take the win and we're going to move forward. Yeah, it would take me a while to think up how we could use these bumpers. The cannon that goes faster. Go ahead and take the win. 100. Okay, now it's 260. That's the highest so far, the people who've played. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just take the win on that one and move on. Factory. I feel like we're missing something obvious, but I don't know what it is. All right. We did almonds. We did the portal. We did the same thing for the one with the super cannons. Let's go to area one sandbox and see what this is all about. Uh, it's got alternates too. Area one sandbox. Launch the level. What do we got? See three exits and four entrances. Two regular almonds, three regular almonds, and a chocolate. Then we got an exit way up here on the right for toasted almonds, regular almond, and a toasted chocolate almond. What do we want to do first? That almond. There's chocolate, there's almonds. We could try the chocolate almond first. Chocolate almond. We're going to have an issue with paths crossing is what I think the challenge on this one's going to be. Almond over there. But just thinking. Dude. All right, let's um get on it. Let's get on it. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Oh boy. Let's do it. 
All right, I'm going to try to take my chocolate. That's fine, actually. Shoot it down, toast it, or melt it. Then I want to meet up with the almonds from here. I'm going to toast those as soon as they come out. And belt these over. Ooh, there you go. In fact, I might not even need that one. Where do you? Toasted almond comes out. Chocolate blasts its way down here. And we want to make it over to this exit. To see what we get. This guy can go way out. Try it. Pause. Let's see who's first between these two. We need to get closer together. The almonds are way faster, right? See what that does. I'm not sure. Oh, it's super close. Who's first? Chocolate is first. Chocolate's first. Um, what does that mean? I'm dropping this guy down one. No, oh, almonds are first, right? Alright, there's our chocolate almonds. I gotta get these guys way over here. Oh, I wonder if I could cannon those over. What would be faster? I don't know if I can cannon those over or not. <laughs> See if we can do it this way. That's three belts. So that's 15. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta be rotated. All right. Not quite. Can you catch it if you go down a little bit? Not moving the way I'm trying to get it to move. See what I'm trying to get away with is not needing more belts. I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off. I don't think a cannon would reach. I could move these two over a bit. The chocolate coming in. I'm gonna throw off our timing. Um, do it though. Let's move this over. Move this up and just see if we can still get them. Not even close. That's our first. Better, better, better. Nope, not better. I missed the first nut. Didn't realize we were missing the first nut. Oh, shoot. Slows down the first nut. Slow down the chocolate by maybe dropping down more? See. By the way. Nuts first, for sure. 
Just experimenting. Let's see what this does. Does do not get close enough. Not even close. Hmm. Who's first? The nut still first. Would they meet? Would these meet? See. Nope, nope. Man, that is super close. Let's see, real close. Oh man, does that look close? Uh, maybe a half a step. Like that was the wrong direction, right? Try this. There we go. There we go. Is that any better than what we had ages ago? I'm not sure. Trying to cheat things off to the left so we could maybe get by with one less belt, but not looking good. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see if this guy can move over one. It looks like that might actually do it. Oh, we are we losing stuff? No. Try that again. I think we're seeing these other nuts drop and it's kind of throwing me off. But I think our chocolate covered nuts are in good shape here. All right, let's stick with that. Man, that's a lot of belts, but yeah, let's stick with that for now. Let's do toasted almonds. We need to try and get those over here. Here's our almonds coming down. Might be able to cannon these through and use the same thing. That would be kind of cool. Oh, look at that. That threw off my chocolate. Oh, it threw off my other ones. That's a little surprising. All right. I'm going to go with that because it's going to save a lot of cost. We'll go fix the other thing in a second. Cannon would probably do it, but I'm trying to save costs. Oh, it's not gonna make it, right? Can go even further out. Not that far out. Think. I think we're getting close. Right now I'm trying to maximize the toasted almond. Oh, that would maybe work too, but let's try up there first. Oh man, are you kidding me? So close to not needing another belt. I'm trying. Oh man, that's a heartbreaker. It just feels like we could do it. 
Not getting there. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. We're getting our toasted almonds. Bare <laughs> Barely. That is awesome. How they land is awesome. All right. Now we need to retime our chocolate over on these other guys. I'm just being extra picky here. Trying to save costs. Okay, chocolate looks like it's coming in way fast. Way fast. Up you out of here. Can you make it? Uh, that's super unexpected. That is super duper unexpected, but I'm going to take it. Now what? Now we need just regular almonds. Or no, we need regular almonds, but check out, check this out. Need to somehow get them from way up here. Or this way. I need to not get in the way of these belts. Gosh, that looks good. Can I lower this guy and get the same thing? Need room to shoot an almond through and get it into that exit. Let's see what this does. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Can I go even lower? Looks okay, right? That looks okay. Okay, let's get on these guys. Hard to know if belts or cannons, what's going to be the best? Get the maximum distance out of that that I can. Maybe one more, or even a belt at this point. Maybe I could... Two belts. Been a little tricky here now. Ah, lower. Lower this one, maybe. Might get in trouble. <laughs> let's let it run. Uh, let's let it run, see if we get 100% efficiency. Yep, we did it. We did it. Um, could we make that? Could we optimize it? Nope. The only way is if we use the belts. We use, could we get into this guy with two belts? I doubt it. We can try it. It's pretty easy. Move this guy over. We need him again. He's got the right angle. It would be like trying to get over that guy with two belts instead of a cannon. That would save us five. Close. Close. I don't think that'll catch. Oh, look, it's not working. Timing is throwing, something's getting thrown off. The almond's coming in at a different time and it's actually hitting the melted chocolate. Hmm, we just need a little bit of time difference here. I don't want to mess with that melted chocolate. There we go. That might be it. Okay, pause. Let's get rid of this cannon. Play again. Actually, get rid of the cost. Okay, 150. And if I drag that off, 145. Yeah, okay. Let it run. 
These chocolate almonds look cool with the almond just sitting there and then the chocolate, uh, melted chocolate actually forces it down the line. I don't like it. I'm going to take that one. 145. Yeah, I'll take the win. I think. <laughs> uh, the only other thing we could try is getting rid of these cannons and just using belts. Let's try it. No, I'm going crazy here, but let's try it because these are 15 each and it's possible one single belt would do it. All right, we'll just move these over for now. Put them right back. What if that would, well, isn't going to get us there, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Be a big cost savings. Oh, yeah. No, it's not going to reach at all. You could tinker with it. Uh, I'm going to take my win, I think. Hopefully this will run again. Successfully. It's good. This area in the middle, kind of middle bright. Just perfectly synchronized so the chocolate's not hitting those almonds. Alright, I gotta take that win. Next. Forty-five. Yep, yep, yep. Back to factory. Uh, modifier. Just candy floss. Let's do that. I think I remember this one. It's pretty awesome. This is cool, but it's a challenge. Um, it's just candy floss, as they say. Candy floss, candy floss. Candy floss, candy floss. We only have three exits. Oh man, yeah, there's an issue with this one. I can't remember what it is. Oh, there's an issue where we end up with extra candy floss, I think. We're gonna have to just play our way through it. Play our way through it. Um, show you how this works. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to try and send this candy floss down into this exit from both of these guys. See what happens with candy floss? <laughs> Just kind of floats. Does it is affected by gravity, but it is so slow. Um, but the challenge is, is getting the supply from two of these entrances into one of the exits. Try and see what happens here. Kind of floats somewhat unpredictably too. And it bunches up and sticks together. Okay, so those are not hitting each other. So maybe we can get them into here. Kind of drifting. Get them down into here. Let's um play again real quick. Put a wall. Thinking where I could put a belt to force these things to maybe I did something here. Force these guys to go down. Let's see what that does. Whoop, wrong way. We want to direct them down into this exit. It looks kind of promising. I can't tell if that's lined up or not. And then these guys. Okay, yeah, they're making their way into the exit. I'll make it in. Kind of weird how they stick together and kind of move around. So far so good. So far so good. Let's see if this guy makes it down. We gotta wait. Wait for gravity.
starts getting they start making their way to the exit this thing can start curling around unpredictably too uh it's not taking more yeah how do we do it I ran into this problem before i can't remember how i solved it the exit does not want to take more what yeah, i don't remember i think i think that's our issue here Let's get these other ones routed, and then we'll experiment some more and see if we can figure out how to do it. Uh, let's try sending this one over this way. And this guy, same thing. And we'll try and redirect to that one. Let's just see what we get. We'll ignore this one at the top left. That's the one that's getting backed up. See what happens with these two. I don't know if there's an exit that can take more. I just can't remember what the solution was on this one. I'm gonna see. This is gonna need to go over maybe two, and we're gonna need. We're gonna need a belt. Here, maybe? See what we get. This one's a little slower to run the tests. Like entrance number two, all of that candy floss is going in, or cat and candy is going in. Oh man, that's not gonna. <gasps> it did take it. Our fourth entrance looks like it might be successful. Oh, we might have to put a wall there. And then this guy is not there yet. The wall over here. We we'll use this belt as a wall, kind of. Can I put it there? That might work. Might work. Um, and then we saw this guy needs another belt, we think. Let's try that. most concerned about the floss coming from the very first entrance. I'm not sure where that is supposed to go unless I'm missing something obvious. Another exit. Looks like this one's doing better now with that little wall there. Extra conveyor belt helping us out. So that one's successful. Look here, yeah. Oh, is it going? Yeah, like that egg. Oh! That exit has its little light off in the middle. This one still has a light on. I'm guessing this guy can take more. Maybe that's the issue. Then we got problems over here. All right, that basically means Gotta change things up. This guy. We have to go the other direction. We won't need that. Uh, we'll have to monitor this guy. The first entrance is gonna go down in the first exit. This guy is gonna go have to make its way to the second exit. And I think both of these are gonna have to find their way to the last exit. I think, I think that's what I'm seeing. Just do that for now. This one can go. See if we can get it to work and then we'll optimize. Um, this guy is going to need to be over here, probably somewhere. Who knows where? And that thing out some further. This guy out. 
that, maybe? Oh, what a mess up top. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what we get. Really going to be a problem here. We're going to need a belt and probably a, another one up here. That test takes so long to run. How about you? There and then. Be there to force the issue and play again. Tempted on this one on the far left. I'm tempted to put a belt there just to force these guys to stay somewhat separated. We got problems here on the right. That's just a big mess. That is doing a little better. Funky looking. And we'll see if this belt can catch all that mess on the far right. Oh, what's going on? Why aren't you going in? Might. You might. Got more guys pushing. Push. That one missed. Unless it sticks. This guy's starting to work. Not pretty. The one on the far left, knock on wood. Oh man, the one on the far left is good. And we got problems with these guys. Can we do it? Oh, let's see. Is that guy going to actually recover? Takes a little patience. That <laughs> takes patience. We got to fix the one on the, on the far right though. Let's, um, what could we do? Keep these separate. Could drop these belts down here, maybe. Just see what that does. See what that does. We might not even need that one. See how, how this does. Maybe that'll keep these guys from bunching up. And we'll see if this, um, the second entrance, if it consistently actually does process that. It was very, very dubious last run. But if it's 100% repeatable, then we should be in good shape there. Got issues here. We might need one more belt. Unless we get super lucky. Doesn't appear we're going to get... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. That looks like a big bird. A beak over here. Oh, yeah. Look at the first one on the far left. It's not consistent. It didn't float the same way. Ah, oh, now that guy's complaining he's full. The light's off here on the far right. It's got to go down the middle. Huh. Guessing. Guessing. Kind of upset about that one. Let's do another run. Um, do another run. Uh, before we do, actually, let's reverse this belt. I think this guy's going to have to go maybe in the middle. Maybe that's the one that's got the extra capacity. We're supposed to know. A feeling this flow is not going to make it down there, but we'll see. Yeah. This one doesn't actually look too bad this time. If 
far right looks like it's getting processed. The far left looks decent. We'll see. Now that, see, that guy still has his light on. That's why I thought this one could take more. I'm confused. That guy's got his light on too. See what happens if this middle one just stops taking. I think it's going to just stop taking. Yeah, see, it just stops taking. And these two show they can take more. I'm confused with this one. It shows, or maybe we're good. It says 100% efficiency. Up top. Current cost is 50. That's like one of the lowest we've had. Efficiency is 100%. I think I might just take it. Best is 45. I don't know how I did it at 45 before. I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the win here. The factory. Okay, we did just candy floss. That was the sandbox. Area 1 sandbox. So we're almost done with area 1 here. Let's just, uh, we just need to see something. Naming ceremony. Let's do it. Here's our buddy, Captain Contraption. Good job, sad face. That's what I'll call you from now on, sad face. Don't look so glum. We rarely get to choose our own names. I certainly didn't. You've worked wonders on this first area of the factory. We've already discovered so much about the ancient human art of chocolate making. Come, sad face, on to our next area. I like it. I like it. So area one is clear. You can see I did that one before. Um... And in some cases, I did it better before, but those recordings didn't work out. So that's why I'm re-recording these episodes. But yeah, next episode, we're going to get into Area 2. It looks like we're going to be starting with Candy Floss. We're going to have a gravity modifier on that. But yeah, we'll pick that up next episode. Again, this is Captain Contraption's Chocolate Factory. Releases July 17th, 2024. Pretty cool game. I like it. A lot of experimentation. Pretty easy to get into. Thank Glattercap patrons and channel members as always for their support. Deeply appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.